Welcome to another episode of Bonafide. This is episode 22. 22. You guys have stuck around for 22 episodes, and this is the first episode that is a reveal episode, which is super exciting. I can't believe it's here. Ready? Come on inside. I'm Karen Bond, the founder and creative director at House of Bond. I've been in the design industry for over 10 years. I decided to do a entire series around my own personal home renovation. Welcome to my home. For my first reveal episode, I'm going to show you guys my kitchen which I absolutely love. I spend so much time in my kitchen. What I love about my kitchen is that every time I'm in here, I feel like I'm in a big residential kitchen, like a big single family home kitchen, and I love it, especially for a 1400 square foot townhouse. And the only thing I should mention to you guys is that there's still a little bit of construction going on upstairs, finishing touches. It has taken a long time to get this whole thing done, but I'm very close to getting everything absolutely complete. So I love that when you walk into my house, it feels open immediately. I love that you can see the kitchen right away, but I also love that when you walk into the space, you're not walking right into the kitchen. You actually have a defined entry area. So that's really important to me. So to my left is the entry closet, which stayed in the same place. And right next to that is also the powder room. And I'm gonna show you guys the powder room a little bit later. But I love these two doors being side by side. It's such a visual impact because I have these amazing doors from the tree. The doors are from the Fashion Forward collection. The casings and baseboards are from the French Curves collection. So I love the impact that these doors and casings make because it instantly feels like my home is really luxurious, that it's high end, even though it's a townhouse. This hardware from Entech is really like the cherry on top of the cake. As soon as the hardware arrived and we installed it, it made such a huge difference to my space feeling like it was finished and complete. The actual lever is a knurled lever. This piece is called the T-bar, and these are both in the satin brass. And then my rosette is the Urban Modern rosette, and this is in a matte black finish. So all together, I think it looks amazing. I also decided to go for M-Tex satin brass hinges on my doors. So all the hinges got replaced. Because you see the hinge so close to the hardware, I thought it was really important to have a hinge that matches. It just looked so much more polished and so much more finished. Now, before I walk into my kitchen, I wanna tell you guys about these floors. These floors are from the Cosmopolitan Collection from Divine Flooring. This floor is an engineer hardwood. It is a seven and a half inch wide plank. So this is the color Rome. And in my space, I think it just lightens up the space. It freshens it up. It keeps it feeling super modern. But again, it has got that little rustic quality, which brings in a nice layer into my home. And I also carried my floors right into my kitchen. My entire kitchen is black. All my millwork is black. And in the end, I am so happy with that choice. It feels edgy and luxe at the same time, and that is totally my style. So I am so happy with my black cabinetry. This color is called black. It's a Benjamin Moore color. 
The profile I decided to select for my kitchen millwork is a shaker cabinet profile. So this rail is about two inches wide and I really don't like going any wider than two inches. I feel like the more narrow you go, the more modern it actually looks. And the poles that I selected are just a simple modern pole from Richelieu. These are a champagne bronze color. And this whole stack looks like it's just part of the kitchen, but in fact, my electrical panel is here. It's totally accessible. This is not a deep cabinet. Now, because my electrical panel stayed here, I had to shrink the island slightly because I wanted to keep three foot eight clear for circulation. Because when there's two people standing in the kitchen or more, it doesn't feel crammed at all. It feels big, it feels spacious, it feels like there's tons of room to move around. So my kitchen island is completely clean and free of anything. I did that deliberately because I really believe in having big workspace in a kitchen. I love that my fridge is just steps away from my island. So like I said, it's a perfect drop zone. I love that when I'm cooking, I can just turn around and use my range. It's super easy, great proximity. And then a little further away is my sink. So from a functionality standpoint, this works perfectly. This is my save piece from Ikea. This is actually an MDF, which has been veneered with a walnut. This is not actually a walnut butcher block, but you know what? If I didn't tell you guys that, you probably would have never ever known. Now, the other thing that I did in my island was that I pulled electrical to my island in two places. So on either side of my island, I've got an electrical outlet here. And I love that, it's super functional. I use this one all the time. I think it's really important to have electrical coming to the island. For my bar stools, these bar stools are from West Elm. They are a gray and sort of this muted gold color. The gold goes really well with all of the finishes in my kitchen and throughout my home. The gray is a super soft fabric. It's got a low back and it's just a really nice height for my kitchen island. Even though that there's a back, there's a little armrest, there's a foot rest, which is really important with a bar stool, they're not big and bulky. It also has a special character in and of itself, so I think it's a really nice layer in my kitchen. One of my favorite parts of the kitchen is this little nook area. Part of the reason for that is because there really is just so much storage. I haven't filled all of these cabinets yet. <laughs> this is where I keep my vitamins. There's a lot of booze down here. I've got tons of really deep pantry space. Lots of cabinet space up above. There's so much storage in my kitchen and I really, really love that because I never feel like I'm short on storage space. And I call this my Oscar center. <laughs> so this is the area where he has dinner. He can find his toys. I keep his food in these drawers. He's got his clothes. This bench is a custom bench seat. What I decided to do is go with a really light gray fabric. And in order to add a little bit of detailing, I added some piping along the bench seat. I love that it's also an area when I come home, I can kind of drop my bag and my purse over here and it's out of the kitchen. I decided to do an integrated fridge from Midland Appliances. The brand is Fisher Paykel, and this is probably my favorite appliance in my house. So if I had gotten a fridge where you saw all the stainless steel, I don't think it would have had as much of a luxe feel and effect as it does to see the fridge paneled and integrated into my millwork. The fridge has really big appliance hardware. This hardware is from M-Tech. Again, this is in the satin brass finish. And I really love that my fridge has the fridge component on top and then it has the drawer on the bottom.
The next appliance that I have, which is also a Fisher Pickel appliance from Midland Appliances, is my range. My range is an induction range. The amazing thing about induction is that even though it heats really fast and heats really well, as soon as you take the pot off, the element and the pot cool down almost instantly and they don't stay warm. The other thing that I really like about this range in particular and a lot of the appliances from Fisher Pickel is just the sleek square design. It's very modern, it has clean architectural lines and above my range is obviously my hood fan. In the end, I'm actually really happy that this ended up being millwork because it gives the whole kitchen a little bit more of a unified look and the marble really pops. My backsplash, my countertops are all this gorgeous Italian marble which came from Aeon Stone. I really wanted a stone that had high impact, tons of color and texture, and this stone hits all of those points. I believe this stone is called Panazzo Marble, and it's a Calcutta marble. So this stone has beautiful veining. It looks very old world. It's not something that you typically see in Canada in terms of a finish that you would bring into your home. But I love the pink undertones, the green undertones, the brown and the purple in the marble. The marble is a 2cm marble, meaning it's three quarters of an inch. It's doubled up on the edge, so it gives the illusion that this is a lot thicker and a lot more substantial, and I really like how this turned out. So also across from my range is my microwave. And you can't integrate these, you can't panel them because you need this access. The best that you can do is have a trim kit like this Panasonic microwave does, but that's really the best that you can do for a microwave. So I actually like putting it under the kitchen island where most people aren't going to see it. Right next to my microwave are my big drawers where I keep my toaster, my mixing bowls, my Vitamix, and I love having a mix of big deep drawers with some narrow thin ones for things like cutlery, cooking utensils, all that kind of stuff. And believe it or not, these drawers are actually my dishwasher. This is also for Midland Appliances. And I really like having a drawer dishwasher. You don't have to be doing a huge load all at once and you don't have to wait in order to fill your dishwasher before running it. Right above my dishwasher is where I keep all my glassware and my plateware and stuff like that. So unloading the dishwasher is super easy because it just funnels right into the cabinet above or it funnels into the cutlery right beside. To the right of my sink and just above my dishwasher is my bar area. I knew that I really wanted to have a bar area and I wanted to have a portion of my upper millwork that was open millwork, where I could display things like my special glassware, some of my beautiful and favorite wine glasses. I have one of my favorite decanters that's sitting up top and I have some scotch and stuff like that. I also have some of my favorite recipe books in this bar area. So I really love the open cabinets because I think it gives another dimension to the entire kitchen. I almost always have an open bottle of wine that's sitting on my counter and you guys might recognize my bottle stopper. This is the bottle stopper that is from Kelly Worsler's showroom when I was down in California. And then we come to my sink area. Again, I'm just so excited about the design because it works so well. My sink is dead center on my peninsula. There's tons of room to the right and tons of room to the left. So working at the sink feels really practical. It feels really easy. I love that you can be here and I can overlook the dining room and the living room when I'm entertaining and there's people around. I feel like no matter where I am in the kitchen, 
I can see people and talk to people, which is great. Now I had to have a true chef's looking faucet. This faucet is called the Wizard Faucet. It is from Aquabrass. This is in their brushed gold color. And this really makes such a statement in this area of my kitchen. I want to point out that this faucet is super, super functional. It has the detachable wand and you can use the water in a couple of different settings. Now I can't talk about a faucet without talking about a sink. And my sink is from Blanco. And this is the Sill Granite Black Sink. This is from Splashes Kitchen and Bath. I think now that I have this sink, I actually can't see myself ever owning a home again with the stainless steel sink. This Sill Granite is a super soft finish. It doesn't mark, it doesn't scratch. And like I said, I cook all the time. I throw my pots in here. There's food in here. I have a garburetor. Like this sink gets a lot of use and it still looks unbelievably new. I am a diehard Sill Granite fan from now on. Beside my sink and in my peninsula is my drink fridge. This fridge is great. The light turns on when you go to get a drink. I love this because Having a drink fridge separate to my regular fridge really keeps a lot of stuff out of my fridge. The last thing I'm going to point out is all the walls have been painted by fresh paint. My ceiling is painted out in a flat finish. It is in a Sherwin-Williams paint in pure white. So the doors, the casings and baseboards were all painted out in a semi-gloss, also in the color pure white. And that just gives the doors and the casings a hardness and a richness, which is a beautiful contrast to the flat color on the walls. Now the snowbound color on my walls has a tiny slight undertone of a pink which to the eye you would never notice, but this goes perfectly with my marble countertops and with the undertones in my floors. So I feel like the space feels really warm and really cohesive. I would love to hear from you guys on what you guys think of my kitchen. Are there any elements that are your favorite parts of the kitchen. What did you think of my cabinets? Do you like my marble? Do you like how all the finishes interact together? I would love to hear your comments and I'm sure you guys will be busy commenting anyways. So I look forward to that. If you like today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single episode. And I can't wait to see you guys in our next reveal episode. Until then, Bye for now.